Okay, so, Destiny, from what I hear, brought you two together at a drive-in? Yes. Fast food place? Yes, ma'am. But it's not that kind of Destiny that we're talking about, right? Right. Why don't you tell me what happened? I'd like to say, there, it, 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 it's just like Marvin Gaye. It's nothing like the real thing. <laughs> um, and I'm fixing to tell you what really happened. I went down the street and I had come to the Wendy's and I was turning a left and all of a sudden I see this Tahoe backing out the entrance I, I i thought what the heck you know i put my i didn't know what to throw it in reverse or what and i thought she saw me you know and then she just pow slams into me. so she reversed out of the parking lot and hit you yes ma'am what happened then i got out of the car and we both she made sure i was all right and i made sure she was all right did you guys call the police? i called the police oh you did yeah and the police came and what happened then she was being very nice. I thought, you know, I made sure she was all right, made sure her daughter was all right. And I'm, you know, they made sure I was all right. I thought everything was awful, awful cool. You know, I thought, man, this is too good to be true. I said, you know, she, you know, she ain't trying to run. She ain't, she's being cool about it. So I was like, all right. And then she asked me what I, what did I come up here for? I told her I came up here to get a chicken sandwich and a, a frosty, you know. And then, and then she said, well, can we buy that for you? I said, sure. So then her daughter, I said, that, that's cool because I'm always My down for said free she chicken sandwich. My daughter going in to get her food. Why don't she buy yours too? Well, she bought so did you buy, did you buy him the chicken sandwich? Yes, she, she got the chicken that's sandwich so nice stuff that he needed. Mm -hmm. So nice. So why don't you uh, tell me, and we'll get right, we'll get to the frosty and the chicken sandwich. Let's yeah, get, that's right. get to the frosty and the hey. chicken sandwich. Get to that point, and then we'll take it from there. Give me your version of, of what happened. Okay, me and my little girl, we were on our way to a department store to get some clothes. We went to the department store, we got the clothes, we left there. As I got ready to turn, I went a little too far down to turn. So wait, back up a little bit. Not literally, but just... You missed the actual driveway? Yeah, just a little bit. I had to back up a little bit to make it to the driveway. Did you look both ways and behind you? I looked you? both ways. Timothy was not behind me. There was no one behind me. So, so nobody behind you? Nobody behind me. And as I was backing up, suddenly we heard a boom. So my little girl said, oh, somebody, somebody flew behind us. So I, he got out and I got out. Timothy was out before I was out. Okay. When I got out, he said, are you all right? I said, yeah, are you okay? He said, yeah. He said, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I said, yeah, it's my fault, too. Mm -hmm. I didn't see you. He admitted it was his fault, and I admitted no, it was my fault. He admitted it was his he fault? Said, I'm yeah. sorry. He said, ma'am, uh -huh. I'm sorry. I I'm did not see you. I'm turning into Wendy's, get me a frosting. I said, okay. it's my fault, because so you backed like, out the entrance. Like, no, no. Okay. Now, Timothy. Why don't you let her look at the diagram? Timothy, yes, can you tone it down a little yes, bit? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because she was nice enough. Thank you, Renard. She was nice enough to let you speak. Without any interruption. Yes, ma'am. That's true. Right? I'm so sorry. Don't let the frosty get to you. The frosty, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Frosty, you know, eat it too, you know, eat it too fast. Relax. The teeth get cold. Just yeah. relax. I'm, I've been there and done that. We're going to get through it. Okay. Back to what I was saying. Timothy got out of his car and I got out of my car. Timothy asked, was I okay? I said, yeah. And I asked him, was he okay? He said, yeah. He said, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. That was my fault. I said, it was my fault also because I didn't see you. I said, where did you come from? And as you look on that picture where the diagram is, where the yellow lines are in the road. You see up, up a little further from there, there's a little bitty street that Timothy came out of. Now, if you look on this other picture right here, whether he was behind me or not, those are slanted yellow lines in the road. He was not supposed to be there anyway. Okay. Why did I hit you in the turning lane? Because you Why backed up the entrance. Why were we sitting in the turning lane with this wreck? Because you backed up the entrance and okay, you didn't look we were, in your we were in Wendy's parking lot. Okay, so then, so then you say um, that he hit you then? Actually, we hit each other. You hit each other. We didn't see each other. That's very, that's very neutral of you to say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you I hit know. each other, and then what happened? You so get, we got uh, out, and we looked says, at it and everything. He I'm sorry, I hit you. And he said, he said, I'm sorry, I hit you. I didn't see you. That was my fault. I said, and I didn't see you either. That was my fault. Hmm. Now, Tim, I told Timothy, we're going we gonna to get this took care of. I said... I'm going to call the police to get a report just to show you that we will have this fixed. I said, my fiance them own a shop and we can get your car fixed. I said, but I want to call the police and get the report and everything. We're at the chicken sandwich in Frosty Point? Okay, my daughter had got out of the truck. She hadn't got her food yet because we hadn't made it in with So your yet. daughter go get food? She said, were you, you going to get something? He said, yes. And she said, what you going to get? Okay, my daughter is a 17-year-old. You know, she, she tries to look out for everybody in any which way she can. Very sweet. she's been brought up. So she said, I'm going to get my food. I'm going to pay for his too. So he said, okay, he told her what he wanted. 
She went in there, she got our she food, me and her get, and got his food and came back out and we waited on the police to come. So and while we waited on the police, we were standing there talking about the whole situation. So I understand you were eating your chicken sandwich and having your frosty while the police were <laughs> Yes, ma'am, I was. Because, okay. I'm guilty You were of that. really hungry, huh? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, he must have had the munchies. <laughs> okay. So, well, I don't know then you're saying that. the police found her at fault? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, how, how do you come to that conclusion? I use what God gave me, a little common sense. And a, p a police report tells That's the whole kid. story. Mm -hmm. I mean, she back... Well, explain. I read the police report and tell me where it says it's her fault. Here we go. Uh, victim one, which is Timothy Vettito. Vehicle one. Vehicle one, yes, ma'am. Which, well, <laughs> which was, uh, yeah. But you're a victim, I understand. I'm I understand. A, I'm a victim to society. Um, victim number one, I thought it meant vehicle, uh, excuse me, uh, victim number one was attempting to turn left northbound onto Nolensville Pike when a vehicle collided with two. Two was traveling northbound on Nolensville Pike in the turning lane when one pulled out of Wendy striking his vehicle. Yeah, you must have told her I pulled out of Wendy. I was not pulling oh, out of Wendy. you know what happened. Hmm. Because yeah, what, 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 why did what, you keep answering your phone and give me the phone? Why, 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 why did you give me? I mean, we were why did you give me your telephone the number? Won't answer your calls. You then. called me one right. time, Tim, and after that, Tim yeah. called everybody else. What happened? Okay. His, what? his insurance company and everybody. Okay, we're gonna yeah. get to the insurance. Yeah. But what right. do you make? You'll call of... me back. You're at work right now. Right. Yeah, but Timothy. you never called. Timothy. And I called and called and called. Timothy, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I wouldn't doubt if Timothy's not high right now. You're so angry, Timothy. <laughs> because I mean, th th this this has caused a lot of drama in my yeah. life. I Your can't Honor, imagine I... you having drama in your life. He's bothered <laughs> But hey, I'm believe it, it's uh, it's just it's just my life. It's yeah. I got the good and the bad. Did you ever see this police report? No, I hadn't Katrina? seen it. No. And do you want to look at it? Or? Yeah, I would like okay. to look at Bernard, it. Please. And what happened with your insurance company, Timothy? Uh, my insurance company would not help me, as you will see right here. Uh, I uh, I had insurance, but they would not help me because I only had liability. Um, I asked my insurance company to help me find Katrina. They would not help me. Oh, you didn't have the five dollar extra a month liability. Uh, uh, it's an uninsured motorist. But she, so I didn't pay that. Did extra you $5. have insurance? Do you have insurance? My insurance. I did not have insurance at the time. It had just okay. collapsed about okay. a month before okay. then. And usually, uh, Katrina, when somebody backs out, mm -hmm. uh, could I have that back, Bernard? When oh, somebody yeah. backs out, what is um, normally just think? No, the road drive. is a very busy road. There's no way Papa could have been completely bagging out of no Wendy's. I was in a turning lane. I was a little far out in the street. I had to bag back up because it was traffic coming up. If you look on the picture. Traffic was coming up that way too. Well, also, so I have to back up. Yeah, but you normally when you back up, do you look behind? I you? look behind me. I never use mirrors because I know mirrors do not. So work. then, how much did you miss the entrance by? Probably about, I guess, from right there to about right there. I probably was like, right, well, about right here. Mm -hmm. right She's not going to do anything. No so worries. I have to back up a little bit because my me. my front tire was in the road. A so then, uh, you got an estimate, Timothy. The total is $4,848. He can get a new car with that because you should see his car. Yeah. yeah. Why so much? Why so expensive? What kind of car because, is uh, it? Because she bent the frame and the frame is bent on the car. The car is basically, it's unrepairable. So for them, for me to get the estimate. Your insurance uh, what kind of car is it? My insurance is not going to cover when another person hits me. But it would not have gave you that much either. Well, they wouldn't have gave me that what, much. What, I, um, what, is, what kind of I car is it? I paid 3500 for the car, but you put... What you kind not of car is it? Car. It's a 93 Altima. And I think we have some pictures of the car. So that's, that's what happened from the accident? Yes. She backed out and slammed in it right there. My, I only have one headlight. One of the, the side that, that I'm showing right there, the headlight will not fit in there. Wow. They were, so for me to even drive that car legally, I have to get the frame. So then, did she like literally back up into the right wheel? Back to right here I am. So you saying, Timothy, that you did not say that you did not see me and it was your fault? I, did, I saw you, yeah, but I don't know what to do. Throw it in reverse and hit another car because you're backing there was up no into car me. Behind you. You were in okay, the so then those anyway. are all the pictures. We yes, ma'am. Well, then those are the pictures of my car. That is what she done. I I could not get you know couldn't get it fixed. So I proceeded to send her letters. And uh, tried to get her fired. Yeah, because your driver's like, yes, ma'am. Your Honor, her na her uh, address on her 
Driver's license? Driver's license is not her real address. You know what? <clears throat> my driver's license, they have a warrant for my arrest saying that I had used the wrong address on my driver's license. Why do you have a warrant on your address? They said that I used false address and I did not do that. On my mailing address. Why would they put a warrant out for your arrest? I don't know. I don't know what he's done. Why would you put a why? <laughs> but, because I, I did not have no other way to get to this girl because I knew. This I, man is so, trying so to have why, me. Why, why, what it was is I did not have no insurance. I had insurance. Liability only. A woman right here with no insurance backs out an entrance and hits me. I cannot find her nowhere. As you see, I've sent her certified letters through the, through the state but, of Tennessee. But, you know, this is, in all certified. defense, this is your address. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it, the zip code is off by one, but it's still going to get there. And it says unclaimed. No, I've, I, 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 I had people try to find out if she even, that she don't the live there. The only person he the, said the, to find out about me, me that letter was the sheriff's back. department. And they left a note on my door saying that they was going to put a warrant out on me because that was not my address. Because it's false. Really? Now, how did I get this letter off of my door and call these people back to see what it was that this was about? Well, then, then you should have got it's a letter from the postman that says, hey, and come pick up this letter. they revoked my driver's license. That's called a certified that letter. Say they that. have revoked my driver's license. Who revoked your driver's license? Um, the Department of Safety. Why? Yeah, because I sent them okay, a copy. Okay, Timothy. Whoa. I gotcha. <laughs> If you don't behave, I'm not going to buy you a frosty. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Why did they revoke your driver's license? I have the slightest idea. They revoked it. They, they just told me it was going to be revoked because of the situation with him. I don't even know how he got all this done. It, Timothy, you else. say you are not Columbo in your statement, right? I'm not Columbo. I'm not Columbo. So how did you get... What did you do... I just sent the things to the State the Department of Safety, the same letters. I, I also... I Let had, me see what you sent to the Department of Safety. Yeah, I sent the, the, the police report, which you have, which shows striking his vehicle. Um, and then you see yeah, she has no insurance at all anyways. And then I also sent him an estimate of my car is and it, pictures. Is it, is it the law in your state that you must have insurance? Uh-huh. Yeah, they just passed that law. Yeah. Anything else, Mr. Colombo? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, then, I, then I would like to, uh, this is like where I had a, the warrant uh, from the state of Tennessee, uh, civil warrant. I had to 61, put a civil 000? warrant. 61,000 miles your car had? Uh, uh, 60, 61. Okay. Or, uh, I don't know. It was 61 at the time. I don't know what it is now because I have to drive this piece of unless I want to spend five thousand dollars. Didn't he say it wasn't drivable? Uh, no, I said it don't have a, can't put a, a headlight in it, which means, duh, you can't drive it. Somebody rewind. Because I'm a night, please. oh yeah, if I'm a daytime driver, you know, if I'm a daytime driver, yeah, I can do that. But if I gotta, like I do, work at night, uh, I gotta have a headlight, and it won't one won't fit so in. So how do you get to work? A friend. I get. I actually, actually, I'm not gonna lie, Your Honor. Some. Sometimes I drive the car with a bad headlight. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is where okay, I Okay, so what else do you want to show me? Yes, Your Honor. This is where I, uh, I put a civil warrant on her downtown. And, you know, nobody could find this lady. Nobody could find her nowhere. Mm -hmm. So I served a civil warrant. So I, I, you like know. I was just a lost episode. Isn't that something? <laughs> Don't you hate that? I hate that. Don't we all? They try to serve a warrant on her. Uh, that address, they said they couldn't find you, so they told me to come serve another warrant, find out where you really lived. Okay, but they didn't serve another warrant. Because I didn't serve one, because thank God Christina called me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Christina. Thank you. Thank you very much. Christina, did you have any problems finding me? Did you have any problems at all getting in touch with me to get me here? Oh, I plead the fifth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yes, Take a deep breath, both of you. We're going to get through this. All okay. right. Okay. So there's just a couple of points that I have, okay? First of all, let's talk about the law in Tennessee, right? In Tennessee, you have to have insurance, and you didn't have insurance. Yes, ma'am. That's, that's not a good point for you. Not at all. Uh, and this accident happened in April 2006. Right. Uh, number two, for some reason or other, they're trying to revoke your driver's license. That tells me a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, number three, is it number three or number four? Uh, Are you following me? Number, number three. three. Yeah, I got you. It seems to me that uh, there was some kind of trying to evade getting in touch with him on your part. You say no, but you know when you get something like this from the post office, you get a little piece of paper. You know you need to, oh, I got something. I have to go to the post office. Right. Certified mail, is, is it's your address. We, you admit it. It's your address. So, so it should. if everybody else got in touch with you, we got in touch with you, 
Your address is right. correct. So that tells me that maybe you didn't go to the uh, to the post office. Okay. Yeah, I didn't uh, number three, you know, he's called you. Number four, he's called you. So I think you kind of tried it to evade him. Uh, wh what really gets to me is I have to look at the literal words sometimes. Sometimes mm -hmm. words tell you a lot. And this evidence in front of me does say that you, vehicle number one, not victim, vehicle number one, reversed and you hit his car. Right. That's what the police report says. Mm -hmm. It's my opinion, based on all the evidence and facts presented, that you were at fault in the accident. All now, right. um, your car, you are suing for, well, we know your invoice is over $4,800. We looked on Kelly Blue Book. Uh, to find a car, a reasonable value of your car with the same account of miles and what we came up uh, for a reasonable good car in good condition, not excellent condition, but a good average car uh, was about uh, $2,200. So I find it fair that uh, uh, Katrina pay you $2,200. Thank, Thank you, you, Your Honor. All rise. Judge Christina has